What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm back, it's been a while but back in here to stay. It's been a crazy few weeks, cousin's wedding in Cape Town which was awesome and then yeah, just a crazy week at work so back with a video and today's video is going to be a throwback Thursday tag as it is Thursday. Right, so there's a list of 10, 11 questions that I want to answer and um, we'll see what happens back in time. Right, what year were you born in? Uh, 18 April 1991. Do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger? If you do, show them. There you go, have a look. Good old days. Right, next question, when my computer gets right. Um, what were your favorite TV shows um, when you were growing up? Well, what was your favorite TV shows that you liked to watch when growing up? Um, I'd say, there was a show in the old days called The Elephant Show. Um, I think it was the good 1990. I think it was created in 1989 or something. Um, and I was obviously watching it in the 90s. Um, and it had a famous song called Skimmery Rinky Dinky Dink or something like that. Uh, where you clap spoons together or whatever. And it was all about an elephant and sing along thing. I really enjoyed that. Tom and Jerry, big fan. Um, still am, technically. Um, Barney, sorry to all you haters out there. Still a big little Barney fan. Um, Dexter's Lab, Friends, Power Rangers, Home Improvement, if we get to the more adult uh, kind of stuff. And Three's Company, that was an awesome um, comedy that um, I, really, I, I really enjoyed to watch. Next question, what did you want to be when you were growing up? Um, and do you still want to be that? Um, I wanted to be a policeman, mainly because I like guns. Oh, I liked guns then and I had a fetish for them and I just wanted the gun mainly so not really a good example of being a policeman and then obviously uh, a pro dear cricket player that was always my dream do I still want to be it yeah of course but it's not gonna happen age is a bit of an issue these days and obviously size challenges but other than that it was that was my childhood dream jobs uh, what were your favorite toys to play with as I said, any type of gun um, and any, uh, any cricket bat and ball. Give that to me when I was younger and I'll always be playing. Uh, what was the most embarrass embarrassing thing you can remember doing? Well, this is a tad bit disgusting, really. Um, we were at a pre-primary, yeah, I was in, we were still living in Cape Town, we were at a pre-primary, um, I was in pre-primary, we went to a like a farm school type homely farms that's in PE something similar to that where you see the animals and get to interact with them um, <laughs> and we went to I had a fetish for pigs at that stage love pigs um, so we went to uh, the pig section and you could go in and, and, and obviously touch them and all that stuff but somehow Gary thought it was cool and clever to try and be a pig which meant trying to drink out of the pig bowl's water. Now that is also their type of bath, so they crap and all that stuff in there, and there's me drinking, which is a story I actually, whenever we go to homely farms, it's always uh, with my nephew and nieces, it's always brought up, so um, it definitely is an embarrassing uh, memory that I have from, from those days, but it was, yeah, not much you can say about that one. Uh, what was the fun, one funny thing you dressed up for for Halloween when you were younger? Um, not a big dresser up person. I don't like. I'm not a big theme. Things when it comes to parties and all that, unless my mates force me to do it. But uh, if I go back, I would say I dressed up once as a Power Ranger. Big fan of that and uh, Batman. I, re I remember having that cons uh, costume. So those were the things that I dressed up as. Um, are there any special things you've kept from when you were a child? Um, a bio game, a few teddies from the days. I've got a, a you know, you'll laugh now, but a Barney one. And I still have that my niece is quite fond of. Um, so that I still have. So it's like a heirloom, it's gonna go down the line. But yes, I still have it. What was something weird that you used to do as a child? Uh, another funny one. Um, but with me being obviously a, a dwarf, my head is obviously bigger. Now as a baby, when crawling, 
my head got tired because it, oh, it was constantly lifting up. So what I'd do is I'd put my head on the carpet and then drag myself across. So literally, yeah, I had nice carpet burns as proof. Um, to explain that story, it was quite difficult for my parents. I think a lot of people thought um, uh, I was getting beaten up or, or something like that because I always had this red uh, mark or sometimes scabs from it, depends. But that was definitely um, something weird that I used to do as a kid. Still got my weird fetish of, um, which again, people laugh at. I wall sleep, so my head is on the wall when I pass out. So I still got my weird things. Sadly, my head is always involved. So, yeah, funny story. Something new to learn about um, me. Right, what was the scariest thing you remember that happened uh, when you were younger? Well, one thing I do recall that was quite a fright to the family and all um, was I was those bar jungle gym thingy, thingy about I'm not sure what the what the actual word is, but it's like bars and it comes like a, a square hut and then it's got that top bit. And um, I climbed on top of there because in Cape Town we used to live across the road from a park, and I uh, I was climbing up and I was standing on the top, and then one minute I just lost my balance um, and knocked my head on the pole, and pretty much. I remember waking, I was quite unconscious. My uh, mates at the time had to carry me to my parents and say, listen, uh, guys fallen and uh, concussed and all that stuff. Uh, I do recall waking up and my dad was asking me so many questions. What happened? What happened? And obviously I didn't remember um, and all those things. Um, and then we were on the way to the, to the hospital or to the doctor to get checked up. And my sister and mom had to constantly keep me awake because they were worried that if I'd fall in this fall is, if I fall asleep, I'd go into a coma. Um, so ended up then uh, that's the last memory of that. And then I re will remember waking up in hospital. I think I was in there for two days um, for concussion. So that was definitely a big fright. Um, it, it, it didn't affect me, but my dad did say that because I'm because I'm a snorer. Um, it, it, Claims my snoring pattern completely um, for the first uh, year or two after that, which is quite hectic. So it was definitely um, a big fright for everyone. But that's that's one thing I do um, remember. Uh, and then the last question is: How is the world different now from how it was when you were a child? Well, when you were a child, well, not much, eh? Everyone's still taller than me, so uh, that's still the same. But yeah. Drugs aside, obviously a lot has changed. Technology has changed. Um, the toys, I mean, come on, the the stuff this generation of children get is freaking awesome. I mean, the Lego and all that stuff is incredible. So, hey, lucky buggers. I mean, honestly, our parents are going to say the same for us, but it's just going to keep getting better and better. You would like want to be a kid again with all those toys that these guys get. Um, and sadly, everything is more expensive than it was back in the day. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than that, obviously everything changes. People change, you grow up, you, uh, you learn new things. Um, as I said, technology is changing. Cell phones was a brick and now it's smaller or now it's, it's getting bigger. Um, yeah, things are changing. Shops are being built. If I go back in Cape Town days, um, there wasn't much. Now it's, uh, I mean, everywhere you look, there's a shopping center, there's new buildings. Um, it's so, everything's changing. So I would say definitely say that's the answer for that. And that is the Throwback Thursday tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, something different and something fun to do. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys real soon in my next video. Have a great week further and I'll see you soon. And remember, never give up and always keep uh, being positive. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.